Hello, everyone. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. This is the park. Hope everyone's doing all right. Bit late on this game, but you know, I haven't played it and seen it really. So. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. All right, let's check the settings. Okay. Sensitivity is a bit weird, but we can deal with that. Shout visual guidance. Shout object visualization. Yes, enable subtitles. Let's not enable motion blur. Not sure what that is, so let's leave it at that. And apply. Alright. So, it's actually a bit too fast. Can I run? Let's explore a bit. Not sure if there's anything to explore, but... Yeah, the sensitivity is a bit... Let's try like that. Jeez, that's even worse. What's like on three? Okay, that's better. So I can't run it seems. here. Let's check the other side then. Wait, what's in the trash can? Nothing. Some random rocks lying around. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, cool. We can actually walk out. So maybe there's something over here in this direction. Seriously, can't run. It's so weird. Is this going to be killer fog? As if we'd be playing... Playing now. No. Like in the movie, the fog. Things I need to do in the park. Okay. Okay. way back, alright. Um, that wasn't very helpful. Are there like no notes or stuff? 
Also, I didn't check on the kid. Eh, he's doing fine. Bubbling his head around. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Oh, now I can track with stuff. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used the talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Mm -hmm. A park maintenance. Um. How do you enter the park with a vehicle, though? Um, oh, okay. What? Don't do drugs, kids. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine! Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Well, how did he get inside then? If the gates were locked. Also, how do you know my name? Or the character's name? Provides audible and visual clues. Wait for mommy, Callum. Come on, mommy. Hang on, there's something. Read flyer. Teens, big ones. This diner. Yeah, that's just a flyer, really. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. So... He's gonna lock the park. And we're gonna be stuck in here, is that it? running up to that side. So, let's see. We are there. Tunnel of Tales, Octatron, Ferris Wheel, Bumper Cars, Roller Coaster, House of Horrors. Are we gonna go through all of these? That would be cool. Kind of. Uh, it's more of the same. Okay. Guess there's not anything, not anything else around here. Don't hide from me, Callum. This way, mommy. Callum. 
Callum? Over here! Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Where are you? This way. Oh, you didn't go into the House of Horrors. Might have a flashlight, do I? Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Oh. I think this belongs to Kelm. Okay. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily <clears throat> ice sculpting shows in the following locations. Such an Octron Park entrance. Chad the chipmunk, first in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight, Chad is beaten every night, Chad will, will have her dead in job, Chad will die a useless slob. How jolly. Stop! Kill him! Come on, this way! No one's going to the loo, apparently. What do we have here? Handwritten note. This is. Oh, could it be any smaller? Uh, purchased the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add, um, whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just to mention, just the uh, mention of his name, had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived in the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me an, uh, another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Wi uh, Mr. What? Winter. But the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Did Man Henderson. Uh, what? Old Man Henderson. Um. He did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. All right, then. If the font keeps being that tiny, I'm not going to bother reading it anymore. Someone's having a laugh again. Come out, sweetie. Callum, stay where you are. He's not replying anymore. Come on, mommy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Callum, where the hell is he? Where'd you go? Callum, stay where you are. Callum, come back here right now. I'm supposed to write this, I guess. I can't turn around. Hmm. Near 
a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Hello. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while and follow looking at? the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Yeah, should have been smarter. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Hansel and Gretel movies suck, by the way. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. 
Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. All that to say, don't take candy from strangers. We're back at the same area, aren't we? Hmm. All right then. Let's move. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Another accident. This place. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> also, hi, bear. I found it. Can I go now? Come on. Hmm. I'm not walking again. Was it because of the cutscene? I'm not happy about that. Texture popping is nasty. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head, It'd make me dizzy. The guy Report. just snapped. Those poor kids. We're waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk cost, uh, suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of these, of those um, suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice f uh, fell away 
when you first looked, it was like a human face, uh, like a human face, smiling uh, out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural uh, that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey and that thing in the eyes was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face uh, at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk's, in the, in the chipmunk's suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was <clears throat> stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I uh, had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids that landed on the ice sculpture had landed on the ice sculpture, <clears throat> making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Right. Any more notes? Doesn't seem like I need to ride that one. Hang on, how many entrances are there? Three. Alright. Oh, I remember this. Can't turn around. Okay. So, which way? Came from over there. Am I supposed to ride this one? I can't get on while it's moving. The oh, thing is, no one's there to start up again either, once I'm on it, so... I can't even go through. Oh, I can ride after all. Alright, so who's turning the thing on? Oh, it's gonna break apart, isn't it? Hello. Huh. All right. That was a thing. Well, let's go this way then. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there. 
and so far from my expectations. I shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I can't actually enter. Mm. Screaming again, right? Constant crashes in eighties music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Hmm. What's this then? How does this going on? On its own again. Wait, what? Um, your yeah, grass is clipping through the trash can, folks. Might want to fix that. What's this then? Alright. Another tiny font. Hmm. Accident report. Can go up there now. Let's check the other side first. Oh, these are out of commission. Why well, can't ride the bumper cars? Check back here. Maybe whoever was in that house is back. I mm, guess not. Oh well. Let's with that one. Oh, what's this?
That was shocking. I'm in slow motion again. Anything else happening? I probably need to go through there, right? some extra noise on the right side. Uh, right. There we go. Let's run. Guess we'll go through here then. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. I don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. this way then. Oh, that's that thing. Right. Oh, it, hang on, am I seeing that right or is it just texture popping out? Done yet. No, I haven't seen that right, I think. Yeah, it couldn't have gone through there actually. Right. Interesting. Broken bridge. That's a safety hazard, people. Their park shouldn't even be open. I guess we're gonna end up taking a ride on that thing. What else is around here? If anything. Yeah, that's the entrance to that. Where's this lead? Why am I walking slowly again? Oh, can't go through here. Oh. Creepy dolls. Uh, thanks, I guess. We still take a ride. Oh, damn it, slow motion again. Let's try. I can't 
get on while it's moving. Yeah, we know that. Decrease speed. Come on. It was still moving, kind of. So. We. Right. Is big fella going to show up again? Kind of annoys me that I can't look back. People consider your life for a reason. Dad used to say that for mom. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for different for Don. Uh, when we met, I was sweeping the floor to this diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Can't tell you if Callum was made that night, or one of those that followed, but I think it has to, to be that night that one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the ferris wheel. Don was there at one moment and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum, fairy tale fucking over. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Very extreme, aren't we? Roller coaster. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. I think the noise distribution is off. The walking sound just comes from the right, not from the left as well. Let me through! Come on! I guess I'll just have to take every ride in here. Let's roll. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you what? mean? 
What have you done to him? Hello. Hi. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The you have weird hands. Of what we stand for. Where Especially is that one. The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. One of those doors. Not safe. Way too fast. And we're back. Um. That's a different exit though. Exit. Yeah. What's this? The witch a flashlight. How do I turn it on? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Um, apparently I don't turn it on. So yeah, great. Can I go through the house? No. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. The whole town was shocked by that one. Cotton candy Never corpse. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in parkour's mouth. Top-notch article there. Hmm, right. Oh. Huh? No, it's coming from the left, so that's where we'll be going then. Nothing on the bench. Nothing here. Cut candy thing. Right. Let's check what's over here. That's a weird thing to be around this part. Hmm. And kick it over. Uh, 
Oh. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Can't move. Oh, I had to press X again. Right. Clown mask. I can't walk over it. Okay. That's bloody. Chad! There's something on the table now. I guess. These are mine. What are they? Flex pharmacy. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see then. Destroy reality. Fuck gravity. Um, give me the light, come on. Can't read the first word. I guess darkness is... Nah, it can't be right. A fat pig. I don't know. Daughter is hot. I can taste your dreams. Not safe. The League. Your mother. Say no to graffiti. All that you love will be carried away. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. 1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Reagan 80s. Um, fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. Ha, <laughs> get it? Um, don't be live. Anything they tell you. I wonder if that's purposefully uh, incorrect. Wow, that was really light. Acid trip time. I don't wanna. Where's my flashlight? What the fuck was that? So many teddies. Don't touch me. Oi. Do I have to go over here again? Hmm. Bye, I guess. That one... rocketed away. Hey, I can run again. Hooray, good times. So I guess we're going this way? be the right time to point out that that's not how you slit your wrists. If you're actually attempting to. Not that you should, by the way. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. 
Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Side note. You're fucking lucky if you even get a handshake for five bucks at the theme park. Uh, that's the same. So is it automatic then? It's not automatic. Or maybe? Hmm. Loading, I guess. So yeah, theme parks are expensive as balls. Yeah, it's automatic. What's in the corner? Nothing. Hearing footsteps. Wait. Kill zone? That's a weird crossover. Oh, buff boy. That one didn't want to stick around. Can actually run still. Nope. No more running. Another buff boy. I saw you. I'm yet to see horrors in this house of horrors. Which, to be honest, were always really underwhelming. I mean... I've only been to, uh, like, what? three or four times to a theme park when I was a kid. At least two of them were like water parks. <clears throat> One of them was something like this. Like actual theme park or whatever. And even as a kid, 
I found everything boring until I walked into a tent and saw an arcade cabinet with Street Fighter 2 on it. And that's all it was then. <laughs> Basically spent the whole time at the arcade cabinet. Because that was the most enjoyable thing to do in there. And they had everything. They had roller coasters and bumper cars and all that stuff. So, am I missing something or what? Hmm, this way. So I'm betting that's the way to go. Let's see if we get some more pseudo scares from this. I guess not. Ah, uh, attention whore. I'm back at the beginning. That feels oddly familiar. No, it can't be. Must no, it's slightly different. That didn't give me any clue. Yeah, it's got to be this way then. That actually got me, son of a bitch. Was not expecting that. Yeah, these guys were, were pretty lame, to be honest. And the page, yeah. Make your fonts larger. Someone said boo, and that wasn't scary. So maybe they'll try again another time. Yeah, that didn't really cut it this time. Thank you kindly. I actually thought it was confetti. Not quite. Nothing over here. There's very little to explore, to be fair, which is a bit of a shame. And the flashlight's gone. Oh, now I can pick shit up? Great. Let's turn that around. Oh, fiddly. Come on. Come on. There we go. Circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk. Just as he shouts out a curse, now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins, ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Nightmare Circus. Wasn't there a movie that was... Oh, I'm pretty sure there was a movie that's called that. Actually, I gotta look that up. Let's see. Nightmare Circus. Like from the eighties or so. Yes, there is. Nineteen seventy four.
Yeah, not the one I'm thinking of, though. So, yeah. Horror movie. Which looks appalling, by the way. So, yeah. Okay, next. Oh, I can't even pick that up. Kids drawing. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. Power I barely company. recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Hmm. April 16th, 1846. A group of covered web, uh, wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada. Uh, mountains with very little to bite or sup. That's all references from earlier. The reference to this, actually. Okay. Um, it was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world had ever seen. Now our panel of don donor experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. In this never-before-seen expose, read about how the donor children uh, were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. Right, that's hunger for you. Another book. The Wilting. With this novel, Susan Anscomb <clears throat> cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of her generation. The wilting, a solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. That's a bit of an oddball. Rubik's Cube, yeah. Uh, I love you from Callum. Yeah, that's what I seem to be their house, apartment, something. Shopping list. Remember, I drop off Callum. What the? That's twitching, isn't it? Whenever I move forward and back. Like a pressure plate or something. It's really weird. Fix the faucet with the wrench. It's there. Come on. Hmm. Oh, I actually expect it to be empty. What's in here? Nothing. Something showed up just now to interact with. What was it? Where is it? Come on. I saw something pop up. Damn it. Was it the antenna, maybe? I can't. No. I don't know. In which emergency services?
I like the voice of that persona though. Oh, that's the same one again. What the hell? More pills. Still doesn't say what pills. Or does it? Hmm. Oh well. Either way, it's evident that she's having treatment for psychological issues. Wait, what the fuck? Have I just gone round? Did I miss something? Am I supposed to have another go? More pills? These weren't here before though. Fairly certain. And the radio wasn't on either. Hey, I saw you there. Still can't run. Kids' songs are the weirdest shit. Seriously. Someone's put coffee over that. Well, round two. Yes, open the fucking door, please. Oh, please don't tell me I have to do another fucking round. It's starting to get old. Especially since I can't run. No! Hmm. Yeah, more pills. That's great. I got the picture right now. Maybe I'm just missing something. No, I can't be missing something because things are keep being a bit different. Not a lot, but somewhat. Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, that wasn't the bad before. More pills. Things have been rummaged through. Might have been her that was actually hurting the kid. And then was getting treatment to get better. Torn letter. I didn't run away, dad took me. Yeah, that's still the same. So we're gonna go for round four, is that it? I better hope. It's not like that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Round four it is. Uh, 
I mean, the gradual changes are cool and all, but it's been dragged out a bit. They could have gone like, skip the first, gone to the second, skip the third, and use this one. It would have sufficed. This uh, seems a bit like, fuck, our game is short, let's make him run around a bit. That actually reminds me of the um, first. Um, it's not a comic. It's like the first short film for Lenore, cute little dead girl. Still lift. You're alone and loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Actually, I'm curious now. Ice pick. Ooh. They should have checked the fridge on the other occasions as well. Finally, this door is open, so hey, that's a start. And flashlight is a no go. Mother. Where is he? Really? Oh god. Someone's banging their head against the door. Hmm, figures. Where's the services? Suffering relapse. Yeah, she's not well. Didn't even have to read all these notes to come to that conclusion. gonna make me do this a fifth time seriously oof that's rough That's not a pretty sight. Who's hanging there though? Is that the kid? No. That's weird. Seems to be very, like, unrelated. Music's going mental though. Not sure if the, the rooms we are going through is supposed to metaphorically represent her deterior deteriorating state of mind. Oh bollocks. It's still closed. Ah, oh, this is different finally. 
But it's always been a bit Stories different. Stories are but... told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the <clears throat> woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Reach over there. Oh boy, fuck that nonsense. Eyes without sparkle. Someone turn up the gramophone. Examine book. Hansel and Gretel. Chad is back. Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What the fuck? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Well, this is the end then? Oh man. Yeah, that leaves something to be desired. I mean... I hate it when they do that. It's like, oh look, here's kind of an ending, but not really. Yeah. Anyway, it was decent enough, I think. A bit too simple overall, and dragged on way longer than it should have, even though it was short already. Anyway. That's the park for you, and let's see tomorrow.
tomorrow might be... Hmm. Actually not sure. Maybe I'll give Beholder another shot. Although they really bumped me out last time. Um, I'll have to see. I'll find something for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.